Before I get started, I do consulting on where you can move. I'll work with you to find the perfect place for you to move to. There's more information at the end of the video about that. Now let's get started. New York. If you're not from here, when you think of the Empire State, I'm sure you think of New York City, the Statue of Liberty, maybe the Yankees, and probably pizza. And while living in New York City is a dream for those who love live entertainment, art, culture, crowded spaces, crime, and a high cost of living, there's more to New York than just the five boroughs. Come on now. It's a large state with a rich history. I mean, people say, I love New York all the time for a reason, right? But as always, some cities are better than others. And today we're talking about the 10 best places to live in the Empire State. So how do we determine where the best places are to live in the state of New York? Well, most of it's based on data. We're going to look at places that have a good quality of life with good schools and low crime. Plus, a lot of people in the state of New York have weighed in on the places that they say are the best to live and raise a family. We included that as well. Let's get started. These are the best places you can live in the state of New York. We're going to begin our tour of the best cities to live in New York in Great Neck Plaza. You're probably like, where the hell is Great Neck Plaza? Well, it's a little village about a half hour east of New York City on Long Island. About 7,000 people call Great Neck Plaza home. It's the third most densely populated place in the state, actually. Why is Great Neck Plaza such a great place to live? Well, it's safe and clean, and that's not something you can say about a lot of the greater New York City area. But it is in this part of the state, right here in Nassau County. People living here say it's a walker's paradise with all the restaurants and shops that are easy to get to and enjoy. Aww. As you might expect, the overall cost of living is going to be high though, but it's not that high for being so close to the heart of the city. Homes listed in Great Neck Plaza are about $433,000 each. That's a low. And when you consider that this place is so close to Manhattan and that most families here bring in about $100,000, this is actually kind of a steal. Plus, it's a great place to raise a family. Over 30% of adults here have a master's degree or higher, and the local schools have the 12th lowest high school dropout rate. On top of that, the Great Gatsby was said here, so you know it's bougie. Seriously, people, Great Neck Plaza, if you want to live near and around the Big Apple. A little further down Long Island is the community of Rockville Center, often called RVC. There's about 25,000 people here. It's just a short drive from JFK. Out here in Rockville Center, it's just really nice. The unemployment and poverty levels are low and home values are high. A house in Rockville Center sells for about $650,000. A lot of people here make a lot of money and you can tell when you visit the schools. They're all really well funded and well run and the parents are all involved and I bet that gets to be annoying after a while. Folks here say it's a place where everyone's part of a community and where there's cool little restaurants and parks and it's really close to the beaches and it's just a short train ride to the city. If you can afford living here, it's a wonderful town with well-educated and successful people and where the kids play outside. Apparently, it's the kind of place that people who live here never want to leave. For the first and only time, we're going to leave Long Island and we're going to talk about a place called Rye. It's just across the Sound, all the way up along the Connecticut state line. It's a small coastal suburb in Westchester County, about 15 minutes outside of White Plains and New Rochelle. There's about 16,000 people here, but if you want to live here, you'd better have lots of money because homes here are about 1.4 million smackers each. Rye residents have the fourth highest median household income in the whole state. Families bring in about 200k a year. Most of them work downtown in the finance industry. Now, of course, you're already noticing these places aren't cheap, but the quality of life in Rye is hard to beat. It's been named the best place for families in New York by a few publications that are somewhat reputable. About half the households here have kids. The schools are some of the best in the state, and almost everybody has a college degree. Rye also has the lowest overall crime rate in the whole state of New York. Good for you, Rye. Plus, they have a little cool Main Street and lots of outdoor stuff to do, too. Now we're going to go back down to Long Island, here on the South Shore in Massapequa Park. There's just about 17,000 people here. Like a lot of the places on this list, this is going to be a fairly expensive place to live, but it actually has the lowest cost of living of all cities in our top 10. People looking to buy a house in Massapequa Park will find a range of options from modest starter homes to waterfront mansions, but the median price is about 470 k 
Now this is extremely affordable when the majority of residents are making about 120 k a year and the poverty rate's the 13th lowest in the state at like 2.7%. Living in Massapequa Park has some major perks. First of all, residents say there's a huge sense of community. They have a turkey trot on Thanksgiving and their own little Christmas tree lighting and a fireworks show every 4th of July. Good for you guys. Secondly, the downtown area has a growing restaurant and bar scene and it's great for the younger crowd. And the biggest perk of all, having the world famous Jones Beach right in your backyard. Yay! However, it's worth noting they found a dead body in a park in town a few years back. But it was such an isolated incident that everybody freaked out, if that puts into perspective just how traditionally safe Massapequa Park is. Now we're going to remain on Long Island again for the next best place to live in the state of New York. Man, all these places are in Nassau County. Malvern's a little village of about 8,500 people that's technically in the town of Hempstead. Malvern is small town America at its best. People living here have access to great schools, beautiful beaches, and parks, and there's friendly neighbors all over, and you can leave your doors unlocked here. Malvern's been consistently recognized as one of the safest communities in not only the state, but in the country. Good for you guys in Malvern. Economically, Malvern's thriving too. The unemployment rate's basically zero, and hardly anybody here's broke. If you wanted to live here, your family income's gonna have to be about 126 k a year, since the average house is about half a million bucks. What's not to love? Well, if you're in your early 20s, there might not be enough going on here to pique your interest because the median age is just about 50 years old. But if you're looking for a great place to start a family, it would be a good fit. Your kids might not have a lot of people to play with, though. We're not leaving Nassau County for the next city, either. I guess we'll just assume at this point that Nassau County is the best place to live in the whole state of New York. Here, near the south shore of Long Island, is Cedarhurst, a little village of only about 6,600 people. It's a flourishing Jewish community, which means the weekends are quiet around here due to Sabbath. But when things are open, there's plenty to do. Central Avenue in town has over 200 shops and businesses in a six-block area. And there's no rule you have to be Jewish to live here either. And the economy is strong enough to support all these businesses. Folks living here earn a median income just above 100 grand, and the unemployment rate and poverty level are both under 4%. Cedarhurst is just a great place to raise kids. 36% of households have children, the local schools are fantastic, and the parents are all educated. More than half of adults have a bachelor's degree or higher. And if traveling's your thing, you're just 15 minutes from JFK. That's like a $20 Uber ride if you're lucky enough to get an Uber anymore. Because when COVID happened, a lot of on-demand drivers quit. And those who remain jacked up their prices. That sucks. Uber and Lyft. Williston Park is very close by. And it too is a great place to live. So it basically sounds like you could pick just about anywhere in Nassau County and you'd be good. It's really packed in Williston Park though, so you wouldn't have a lot of space. But there's a lot to do close by. Hofstra University is in the village's backyard. There's always something going on at Hofstra. The 7,277 residents of Williston Park are definitely not struggling. The unemployment rate's 3.4%, and only like 1% of residents are living below the poverty line. I honestly don't know how anyone living in poverty can afford to live here. Most households bring in more than 100 k a year, and homes are well over a million bucks. People in Williston Park say it's a relaxed and quaint neighborhood, and it's perfect for settling down. They have some cute little boutiques and restaurants, and a local favorite is Hildebrandt's, a circa 1920s classic soda shop. How cute. Gag me with a spoon. Okay, so just north of Williston Park is North Hills, which is a teeny little posh place with golf courses all over the place. North Hills is just about three square miles big, and things are definitely luxurious here. Homes are well over a million bucks, but that's okay because it's the eighth richest community in the whole country where families bring in about 150 k a year. Good for you guys. Most of the 2,400 homes in North Hills are in private gated communities, so as you can imagine, crime is pretty much non-existent. If you want a fancy lifestyle within a short drive of downtown, this certainly is it. The economy is thriving for more than just the super wealthy too. North Hills has the lowest unemployment rate in the state at just 0.8%. And only 1% of people live below the poverty line. The school districts here are highly rated, and a whopping 75% of adults have a bachelor's degree. So they're rich and smart in North Hills. And when it comes to entertainment, there's plenty to do within a few short miles in North Hills. All along the Gold Coast, you're going to find local museums and beaches. 
There's hiking trails and shopping and restaurants and fishing piers. And of course, plenty of golf. And when you think of country clubs, you think of old rich people, right? Well, that's right. The median age here is like 60 years old. So while it's super safe and posh, it might not be a good place to raise kids. And let's say golf. What do you know? We're in Nassau County again. Floral Park is a little village of 16,000 people just east of Queens. The motto here is a great place to live. Well, they're kind of right. This tight-knit little village is a neat little place because it has elements from both Long Island and Queens. Everything's well-maintained, and they even have their own police force, so crime is super low, and the blocks are named after different flowers. Oh, that's cute. Plus, as a bonus, Floral Park has its own train station. Yay! Compared to nearby North Hills, Floral Park is really affordable, but still well out of reach for many of us. A home here is about 600 k but expect a bidding war. Mom and dad combined make about 120 k a year, and there aren't any homeless people and junkies all over the place. Not in Floral Park. The public schools are fantastic. Get this, 96% of high school students excel in school, and 94% of kids graduate. I bet the ones who don't graduate here are a real disappointment to their parents. That's got to be a big no-no. I'd be willing to bet if you don't graduate here, everybody in town knows, and you can't show your face on Main Street. Where's the best place to live in New York? East Hills is. And guess what? It's in Nassau County. It's very exclusive here. There's about 7,000 people in East Hills, and they're extremely fortunate to live here. Their motto is, like no other. <laughs> That's pretty pretentious of him. But things have been going so well here for so long that the mayor has held his position for 20 consecutive years. Good for you, Mike Coblins. Life in East Hills is glamorous, but it's not cheap. The cost of living is 73% higher than the state average, and the real estate prices are more than double the rest of the state. As you might expect, homes are well over a million dollars, but folks in East Hills are the second best paid in New York. Our households make about 200 k a year. Good for you guys. And of course, with affluent cities come highly rated public schools. And that's exactly what you'll find in East Hills. If you don't graduate high school here, you're never going to live up to it. 74% of kids passed at least one AP exam. And the parents are smart here too. Half of the mommies and daddies here have a master's degree. And 99.5% of people living here have health insurance. That's a lot of pressure to live up to. There's a ton of stuff to do here for anybody of any age, really. The big draw here is the park at East Hills, which has a 12,000 square foot pool, tennis course, a fitness center, sports fields, a theater, and a restaurant. Man, I guess if you can afford that, you got it made. East Hills, New York, the best place to live. So there you have it, the best cities in New York. They're all places that value safety and education. Everybody has a good job and there's a sense of community. But you need to work hard to make a lot of money if you want to dream of calling one of these places home. If you're planning on moving to New York soon, for some reason, I don't recommend it. Take note that just about every place I talked about is in Nassau County. So that's probably a good place to start looking if you can afford it. And if you don't need to be close to New York City, there's a ton of great options upstate. But beware, the further north you go, the worse the weather and the quality of life gets. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great! You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. You can also now buy my songs on iTunes and other formats. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And remember, while we all might have different views, we should all be nice to each other and try to make the U.S. a better place in a positive way. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production. And are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting. That's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. You can get my email in the description to find out how I can help you find your perfect relocation.